Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my tutorials. My name is Christine McLean and I am the CEO and founder of CEM Writing Services. Now my website is built on Squarespace and if you use Squarespace, you'll know that even though it's a simple platform, the, the designs are very simple and clean and beautiful, it can be difficult to do certain intuitive things on the platform. One of those things is creating a table of contents for blog posts. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I create table of contents on my Squarespace website. So stay tuned. Hey, 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 thank you so much for sticking around to find out how to include a table of contents on your Squarespace blog post. I'm going to include a link to the article where I found the table of contents code in the description box below, but I'm just going to walk you through step by step as I am about to upload a new article on my Squarespace website. The first thing you need to do before you even put in the table of contents is actually create your headings. The first heading that I have in this article is does Google penalize backlink building strategies? Now the heading code, because I want this to be an H2 heading, remember the heading tags are very, very important. Your H1 tag should be your title tag, basically. Then you have H2, H3, H4, and it keeps going down and down and down the line as you go through your article, whatever headings are relevant to you. The H2 tag is what I would use so that the search engines and the website itself is able to identify this as an H2 heading. Then in the ID, I don't want to have something very long that I have to type out. This is what I'm going to use to actually include links to this section of the article when I'm creating the table of contents. And even if I want to include a link to that section somewhere else within the body of text. Here is where I write the actual heading. So this is actual heading that is displayed in the article. And then I close off with this H2 closure. Now I want to be as clear as possible. So let me go through that heading addition again, because I'm at another place where I'm adding a heading. So you would click the button right here, or you can click the button on the side. You can either click here or here. I usually click here. Then you're going to go to code. You click this button and then you're going to can Go over and just copy the code. You can put this in a Google Docs file wherever. And you click there. Or you paste it there, I should say. And then remember, you just put in an, a tag here so that it's easy for you to refer to this heading when you're including links. I'm just going to make the tag here what is. And I'll close it with H2. If this was going to be an H3 heading, I would put H3. If this was going to be an H4 heading, I would put H4 and so on and so forth. All right. That's all you're basically doing. But this is very important for you to get the table of contents accurately done. What I'm going to do is take the HTML code that's here. I need to copy the code. Copy. <laughs> then I'm going to paste it here. Now you'll notice that, now you'll notice that it has the headings here. What needs to happen is that these headings need to be what they are in the body of the content. So I'm going to have to change these now. So where it says href and then it has the pound symbol, I'm going to change it to what I have labeled each of these sections as. So I'm going to do that now. And then when I'm done, you'll see everything, right? So I'm going to include a label for what I've put each section as. So like for the first heading, first H2 heading, I had that as Google penalize. So it's going to be Google penalize as the ID or the tag. Then I have to put in the heading again that will display there. So it's going to say does, does Google penalize backlink building 
strategies. And I'm going to be doing this for each of these headings. So this is what the table of contents looks like. It's now in there. I've included all of the sections. Remember that I'm supposed to use the IDs or what they call the anchor text in order to ensure that the, the jumping happens correctly. So like when I click here, it goes to the correct section. If I click all the way down here, it goes to the correct section. And that's what you want. Now the design, just testing it again. Now the design for the table of contents is going to be CSS code. And again, I'm going to include a link to the article where I got this from. And I'm going to show you now where you would put the CSS code so that you can get something that looks like this. So you're going to go all the way back, going to go to design, then you're going to go to custom CSS. And then you have to put all of this in here. And if you notice the colors, you can change the colors. You just have to put in the correct code. So like the title, you can change the color of the title. You can change the color of the links, link size, those type of things. You can manipulate those areas here. Again, I'm going to include the link in the description box below to the article where you can get all of the codes from. But that's basically it for getting a table of contents on a Squarespace blog. You have to get all the relevant codes, ensure that you have the correct anchor links or the correct IDs, as I was saying earlier. And once you have the correct IDs, you can put everything into the code for the table of contents and it will display accurately. And when you click on the links, you're able to go to the various sections of the blog post, which is what you want. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a link in the comments below. Thanks for watching.